A company is considering a project with a small positive MPV of 3 million, but there is a possibility of further expansion using the technologies developed for the initial project. The expansion would involve undertaking a second project in four years' time. Currently, the present values of the cash flows of the second project are estimated to be 90 million, and its estimated cost in four years is expected to be 140 million. The standard deviation of the project's cash flow is likely to be 40%, and the risk free rate of return is currently 5%. Required, use BSOP to evaluate the decision to expand. In our last class, we started um, application of option pricing in investment appraisal, which led us talking about the four real options delay, delay expansion abandonment and redeployment and we said delay is a call option expansion is a call option abandonment is a put option and redeployment is a call or put option depending on what you use the excess or underutilized resources for now from this question it is clear that this is an expansion because they even said the decision to expand. This question is quite clear. Anytime you see a question in option pricing, state your five key variables. Solution. Evaluation of the decision to expand. So you let the formula guide you. C equals S multiplied by ND1 minus E minus RT multiplied by ND2. Remember this formula, right? Then now, you get your D1 because you don't know your D1. D1 is equal to natural log S over E plus R plus 0 0.5 standard deviation square multiplied by T all over standard deviation root T. This is where I'm checking the formula from. Okay, the formula is in the icon pack behind. You see your formula page. So any option pricing question is actually a bonus question because you have the formula, you have the table. It's just like a lot of food in all. Prepare. That's why they ignore it. November 2022 question, question four, 20 max, a very cheap option pricing question, which is actually real options. I think that one was an expansion or a delayed decision. I don't know, but I'll solve with that question also. Define your variables based on the question. Um, a company is considering a project positive MPV of 3 million. That MPV is not important. Um, T, four years. Four years. This one is already in years, so you don't need to convert to years. Is if you have six months that you say six over two of zero point five years, it must always be in years. So if they give you in months, convert to years. Then they said currently the present values of the cash flows for the second project. Remember that I said in real options the five key variables are different from the five key variables we gave us at the beginning. Okay, so E and S is your present value of future cash flows, which they gave you to be. 90 million. E is initial investment. If it is a put option, your E will be the disposal value. I explained that in the previous class. So E here is initial investment. And they said that it is estimated that the cost of the four years project is expected to be 140 million. The cost of the four years project, okay? The standard deviation of the project, that's another among the five key variables. These are the five key variables S, E, standard deviation, R, C. Right? So 40% for standard deviation, that is 0 0.4. Then R, your interest rate, risk free rate, rate of return is what? 5%. That's 0 0.05. Once you have all this, you put your variables in natural log S, natural log S. 90 over 140 plus R, R is 0 0.05 plus 0 0.5 standard deviation, 40% square T, 4 years, 4 all over standard deviation, 0 0.4 root T, 4. Simple. You don't have to rush this um, input of formula, just make sure it's correct. Take your calculator and then so. We start from here, 0.4 square. We've done that times 0.5 plus 0 0.05 times 4. So you already have the whole of this place as 0 
5 to I just write that down there. Then 90 divided by 40, the natural log of it. 90 divided by 4, 90, 90 divided by 140. Natural log answer minus here we have minus 0.4418. D1 equals minus 0.4418 plus 0 0.52 divided by 0.4 root 4, 0 0.8. So put all this in your calculator and you get your D1 to be 0 0.09775. We just need like four numbers after decimal point. So that should be approximately 0 0.0978. So that's why I got on my calculator. Yeah. So we've got ND1. Now get your ND1. So ND1 plus table value plus or minus 0 0.5. Let me write this correctly. It was 0 0.5 plus or minus table value. Depend on whether D1 is a positive or negative. That is less than zero or greater than zero. So you go to your table value, which is also at the back of your exam question. Okay, so I have my on my phone here. Then what do we check? 0 0.0 under 0 0.09. So 0 0.0, I've seen the 0 0.0 line. Look at that. So 0 0.0, that's the 0 0.0 line under 0 0.09. At that point where they intersect, you have 0 0.0359. So that's your table value. That's the value you are taking from the table. So you have 0 0.5 plus points. That's 0 0.0359. By using plus because it's a positive. If it was a negative, we got here, we use minus. So when you have this, what will you get? You have 0 0.5359 as your ND1. As your ND1. So now that we have ND1, this formula, this formula is becoming complete already. Now we are looking for our ND2. That's because we are trying to get C. C is the value of the option. Is how you know if something a project is worth it. So since we've gotten ND1, let's get ND2. ND2 is also this formula. So you need to get D2 first. So your D2 is equal to D1 minus with something. Yeah, D1 minus standard deviation root T. So I'm checking the formulas behind the exam question because the formula is given anyway. So why won't you check? So your D2 equals once you what did you get as D1? This one 0. Point, point, 0. 0.978 minus standard deviation root t. Look at it. Standard deviation root t. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. So let's put that in our calculator. 0 0.0978 minus 0 0.8. <laughs> this one is a negative. D2 equals minus 0 0.7022. Okay, so since we have a minus our ND2, this is the show. It's actually evening, it's late, and I'm, going, I'm still going out. So ND2 is equal to 0 0.5 minus table value. Since it's a negative minus, so what's our table value for D2? You go and check 0 0.7 under 0 0.00. 0 0.7, I've seen the 0 0.7 line there, under 0.0. .0. That's just the next one. Where they intersect, you have 0.2580. That's 0 0.2580. So 0.5 minus 0.2580. That gives us 0 0.242. So our ND2 is equal to 0 0.242. So now is ND1, ND2 all given. All these other variables, we have them or we don't have them. We have them. So you just solve. So this is actually where the 10 marks, that I can't question, it is in all these figures. But these are simple primary, something mathematics. You just did only formula. So if you see portfolio, those are simple topics that you need to have knowledge of them to be able to solve them. Portfolio, option pricing, forex, just do them because why not? So let's put our variables in this formula. C equals S. What's S over here? 90 million multiplied by ND1. Where's our ND1? 0 0.5359. It means that the probability of deviation from this amount is 0 0.5359. So 0.5359 minus E, 140 million multiplied by 
exponential it's a calculator figure it's a mathematical function minus rt what's our r 0 0.05 multiplied by t four years multiplied by nd2 we got nd2 to be 0 0.242 so 0 0.2 so for so put all of this in your calculator and you get your c to be 20.49 million so it means it's positive right so it's a good as long as it's not a negative it means that the option is viable okay there's a positive outcome if they make the decision to expand so in addition to that 3 million mpv that they have they didn't ask for that but if they say okay what's not going to be the worth of the whole business they already have a positive MPV of 3 million plus another positive MPV of 20.49 million if they expand in four years. So that will give us 23.49 million. But this is the answer to this evaluation, 20.49 million. So it's very um, simple. The next question, November 2022. Kayo, Kayo Day is a highly successful. It's a very interesting question. See you guys later.